Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in the lovely Mexico and with it brings a brand new season and some brand new vehicles for us to unlock today. Right off the bat, in the winter season, you've got these, the Ferrari 599 GTO and the Myers Manx Forza Edition. In the Forzathon shop this week, no way! We've got the Nissan Fairlady Z Forza Edition. That's the car that I just made a video on a little while ago. This vehicle actually brings up a really good point. For those of you who don't know, right now we're actually giving away a Thrustmaster racing wheel, the T248X, to somebody who subscribes over the next seven days. That's literally all you need to do to enter is just subscribe to the channel and you can win a Thrustmaster racing wheel. That is not all though, because if we head back to the Horizon Festival and into the car pass this week, the Lamborghini Aspada. If you have the car pass, you can redeem it completely for for free. That is DLC though. Today though, I wanted to unlock this thing, the Ferrari 599 GTO. This is actually one of my all-time favorite Ferraris and I will explain why. Before that though, we need to unlock this thing. All we need to do is get 25 points in the winter season by completing some of these challenges. 150 miles an hour, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nearly 200. Oh, um, um. And just like that, 25 points has been completed. And the Ferrari 599 GTO has been added to our garage. This is the Ferrari 599 GTO from 2010. You probably know this version, the Ferrari 599 XX Evo. The Ferrari 599 GTO is the road legal version of this vehicle. Right off the bat, it's already got over 650 horsepower. We're at the bottom of S1 class, which is perfect. We've got a big old six liter engine engine in this thing. I think this is gonna be an absolute monster. We'll come back in a moment, do some FH5 customization, but for right now, let's try this thing bone stock. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about our, our Ferrari 599 GTO. This thing is actually super, super rare. Ferrari says they only made 599 of them, which actually means Ferrari probably made 650 or 700 of them. Let's just say these things were a very, very good investment. If you bought one of these things, even just two years ago, you would have paid around half a million bucks, which yes, is a lot of money for a car. However, two years later, a Ferrari 599 GTO costs 700 to 800 thousand dollars. Long story short, if you want to make some money, buy a Ferrari 599 GTO, park the thing, and then sell it in a couple of years, and I guarantee you will have made some money. I really hope in Forza Horizon 5, this thing's going to have some solid upgrades to actually make it really good in S1 class. I want to go and race this thing around some racetracks at the top of S1, see what it can do there. But I also want to try drifting this thing. I want to see if we can make this, the regular GTO version, into a better drift car than the Formula Drift version of the same car. It should be pretty cool. Send it! Send it! Beat the McLaren! I, I, I didn't beat the McLaren. Forza Horizon 5 customization. I think we need to start up with an S1 class race car. So we've got some engine swaps. We've got our 5999 liter engine in their bone stock. Let's upgrade that. A racing V12 or the LaFerrari engine. That is sick. Okay. The racing V12 engine actually builds some really nice horsepower. It's also like 200 pounds lighter than the engine that's in here bone stock. So I think I'll start up with the racing V12. We'll come back, toss in the LaFerrari engine in a moment. Anyways, let's go for some twin turbos on the big old V12. Do I want any front bumpers and some rear wings so I can get some front arrow? That makes my class go up quite a bit, actually, but it's going to help us in the corners a whole bunch. So th I think I'm going to do it. Same thing for my rear wing. It, ju it just makes me so much better in the corners. After that, if grip it, oh, even semi-slick tires make us go up to S2 class.
last- Now I'm asking myself the question, what's more important, going around corners with big old grip from your tires, or going around corners with arrow? And considering the arrow ruins the look of the vehicle, we're ditching it. We've got some classic engine spacers that probably, in all honesty, could have been a little bit more aggressive, but- they went the realistic route, so not bad. After that, we're gonna go for some race suspension. Look at that fitment in the rear. That is so sick. Anti-roll bars in the front and the rear. Can I get any weight reduction? No, I can't. That is gonna be a very lightweight vehicle, though. Other than that, though, I guess let's get a little bit of extra horsepower onto this thing. After all of our upgrades, 935 horsepower. 3,300 pounds. Last little thing before we do hit the open road, we've got a whole bunch of paints for this thing. And I love how Ferrari straight from the factory blacks out the roof for you. That is awesome. This thing in white, oh my God, I love it. No, we've even got the proper Ferrari paints. No, no. No way! Mamma mia, the Ferrari 599! Mwah. Ferrari 599 GTO, we've got the McLaren next to us. That's one and done some upgrades. Yo, look at that! Off the line, 900 horsepower, rear wheel drive, and it barely spins its wheels, what? Okay, the- Move! You know what I want to do now, though? Now that I think about it, I want to try this thing drag racing and, and also for top speed. I feel like it might actually be able to do not bad, actually. Go, Ferrari. We're already at 40% through this race. Send it up the inside past the Ferrari. This is a rear-wheel drive, 900-horsepower Ferrari with no aero upgrades and it takes corners this well i'm not even on full slick tires it's able to deal with whatever you throw at it and that is incredible send it through it shouldn't be able to do this that is actually insane ferrari 599 gto that is a handling monster we need to get the full slick tires on here We'll do that in a second. Before that, though, why don't we try drag racing and top speed? LaFerrari engine installed in here. I guess I'm going to keep it rear wheel drive if we start off with top speed, so we'll go with that. I'm going to get some weight reduction on here. 3,200 pounds. That's crazy. And then other than that, max upgrade the horsepower and absolutely send it. Let's go. What a noise! It sounds like so violent when this thing is revving up and redlining like that. Anyways, there's 200 miles an hour already. Somehow we got the glitch where there's no traffic out here. There's 240 miles an hour. Keep going. 250, 266, 67, 68, 69, 270 miles an hour. 270, 272, 273. 270, 273 miles an hour. Holy, that is a quick vehicle. Damn. Is this faster than the Ferrari 599XX Evo in this game? 273, 274, maybe it might be close. Awesome top speed. How about a drag race? So Let's go full all-wheel drive. Look at that acceleration and launch already. Then I'm going to want some drag racy tires. Very nice. That actually puts me back into S1 class. This is an S1 class drag racing vehicle with 1,400 horsepower. 0 to 60, 1.2 seconds. We've got to absolutely send it. Let's go. Ooh, very early shift out of one. Up to three, four. That's not bad. It doesn't really launch the way you'd expect it to, though. I guess at the end of the day, it's actually a pretty heavy vehicle. If I'm comparing it to things like the Lamborghini Diablo GTR, that was like 2,000 pounds. This is like 3,000 pounds. So it's never going to get that same crazy, crazy launch. If I clean up my launch out of first gear, I might be able to save a couple of milliseconds. Let's see. Rev it out. There we go. That's a little bit better now. Then go all the way up. Very, very nice that time. Much, much better on the launch. That should be considerably faster. Oh, I do need to shift up to six. If I wanted to go super try hard, 
I would tune the gears a little bit. A 14.4, not bad, not great. Back to what I was saying earlier. How fast do you think this thing can go around corners? You know what? Maybe we do keep that all wheel drive and to make it even more corner happy, give it a front splitter and a rear wing. And then let's ditch those drag race tires, toss on the slick tires. We're up to an 8.1 on the handling. Although it might be down on horsepower, I think this engine might actually be better to race with Look at that handling. It goes up to a 9.3. Yes. Unfortunately, we only have 1,200 horsepower this time, but we are considerably lighter than we were before. 3,300 pounds. That's not bad. Ferrari 599. Whoa, look at some of the cars we're going up against. Sesto Elemento, Bugatti. Whoa, Valkyrie or... Valhalla, sorry. Come on, Ferrari. So we're going to need to use that big old rear wing and those super grippy tires and absolutely send it on the AI here. Jeez. This thing is hella... Bro, 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 bro. Why, why we break like that? We're going to need to rely on that big old rear wing and those super grippy tires and then just send it past the AI. Let's go. This thing is so unbelievably planted. Here we go up the inside. Oh, oh the, the 918 outbraked me. One does not simply outbreak me in a vehicle that I've decided to toss on full handling with. So here we go again. I'm going to show you how to go round the outside. Just like that. I couldn't put my finger on it. What makes this car so special? It just is. Are there better cars than this? For sure. But I like this one. So even maxed out handling. It's beautiful to drive. Like, that is awesome. Awesome car. Uh, there's been a multi-million dollar car crash. This is the perfect platform to go drifting with. It's front engine, rear wheel drive. Cost 800, oh, okay, maybe that part's not such a good part if you want to go drifting. Somebody brought up a very good point and said, Nick, you do a lot of rear wheel drive cars. Why don't you do an all wheel drive drift car like I used to do back in Forza Horizon 4? And that is a very, very good point. I think it's just going to be super, super cool. And if I'm going all wheel drive, I want as much horsepower as I can get. So all wheel drive twin turbos and so on. This is probably going to take a lot of fine tuning. I haven't driven an all wheel drive drift car in this game for a little while. So bear with me. Mamma mia. I don't know where I've seen that paint job before. That's a funny looking car. How do I have another drift zone that I've still never done somehow? Three stars, 60,000 points. That'll be my test drive before we head up the volcano. Okay. Okay. I might need to add a little bit less grip onto this vehicle. Right off the bat, it definitely seems a little bit on the grippy side. He says as he runs it off-road. Oh my god, I've already got three stars. I think I'm just going to need to throttle control. Actually, yeah, it definitely feels a little bit grippy. I definitely want some more slide out of the vehicle. So let me mess with my tire pressures a little bit. But that actually feels really good to drive. Do we think I can take down my personal best? My personal best is in a Renault 8. We need to get that thing off of the leaderboard. Let's try Ferrari 599. One million drift score is my personal best. Ferrari, we are going to need to send this down the volcano. We need to maximize those points. That Renault is getting torn off of the leaderboard. Come on, bud. Already on 100,000 points. Go, 599. Go, buddy. Ah! <laughs> I like how many points this thing is managing to pull in. This is really, really nice. 350, 360,000. Two and a half miles still to go. It's actually still a little bit grippy for my likings. I think if I was to build this again, I might actually ditch the drift tire compound and toss on something a little bit more slippery. There we go. Half a million points. Still two miles to go. Keep it going. Yo, I'm not actually getting as many points as I need. I'm only at 800,000. Uh-oh. I've only got 0.6 of a mile left to go. And I still need 200,000 points. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Uh, 
Um, I mean, Mika's got a tune-up, and this one's running drag tires instead of drift tires. I mean, I'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Attempt number two. This time, we're running drag racing tires. And as you can already tell, they are way, way slipperier than the drift tire compound. I haven't driven with these in a long time. That is definitely what you want to see. Jeez, I forgot how hard these things were to drive. Holy 130,000. No, 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 you donkey, you stupid rock. Okay, just, just keep going. We can edit that out and look like a professional. I'm not actually sure if I'm doing any better than I was before. I'm on 400,000 points, two and a half miles left to go, and I'm drifting off the road. I'm just taking my time, 800,000. Yo, I might actually be able to do it. I might actually be on pace. Keep going, Ferrari. Keep going. Keep going. One mile left for 200,000 points. I can do it. I can totally do it. There's 900. Yo, look. Look at it. We're about to destroy the Renault 8. I'm just drifting so slowly down the mountain. There's 940,000. Keep going. Keep going. Look at us go. 970,000. Around there, I'm just casually chilling, chilling. There is one mil. I need one million forty-four thousand. One million thirty thousand. Keep going. New personal best. Bring it to the line. Is that gonna be one point one million drift score? No, but it's gonna be pretty close. Let's go, Ferrari. Holy, that thing is hard to drive. And send it, Ferrari. Chuck it backwards, forwards. Oh my God. It's not even funny. It's too easy. It's way too, just go for another one. I mean, I might as well, right? And go forward again. I'm just, I'm basically a Beyblade. So I think what we've learned today is the Ferrari 599 is a beautiful race car beautiful drift car and that's why this is one of my favorite probably my favorite ferrari of all time